and welcome back to Yoga TX. My name is Lauren. Today we're going to work on some very gentle hip openers that you can do. They don't really hurt your back or anything like that. So some friendly hip openers that can just kind of get into all that tension we hold when we spend a lot of time seated in chairs. So to start with, we'll come onto our hands and knees. Again, cushion up with a blanket if you'd like on the knees planting the palms bright. We'll go ahead and extend the right sole of the foot flat out to the side. And then releasing, bending that right knee, coming into the right hip a little. You can go as deep into that hip or as little into that hip as you would like. And then rocking forward, rolling onto the hands, coming over, straightening out that right knee as we roll around. We'll take two more circles in this direction, maybe pausing to take an extra breath in a place that holds a little more tightness. And really focusing on the breath here, maybe noticing if you're feeling a little tension that you might not have even realized was there. After that third circle, go ahead and reverse the direction of the circles starting by rolling onto the hands, bending into that right knee as we roll the weight into that foot, really keeping the whole foot grounded this entire time. Again, pausing wherever you might be experiencing a little extra tension. We'll take one more circle this direction. Really breathing into that tension and then bring the right knee down through this tabletop position, extending the left toes, left foot outwards, and reversing that to the other side, bending into that left knee as we roll forward onto the hands, rock over to the right, and come back. Taking two more circles here, noticing if maybe one side feels a little different, a little tighter, a little looser than the other know that that's perfectly normal. We kind of have this mistaken idea that we're these perfectly symmetrical beings, but that's not always the case. After your next circle, we'll go ahead and reverse the direction of those circles. Taking two more circles in this direction. back through tabletop. We'll go ahead and sit the hips down and come into another gentle hip opener. This is also a really good hamstring stretch. So we'll start by really sitting up tall, moving the flesh out from underneath the sits bones. If you find that you're really rolling back on the spine, go ahead and either bend the knees slightly or place a blanket under the hips, your choice. So from here, we'll go ahead and bend the right knee in, bringing the sole of the right foot flat against the inside of the left thigh, flexing actively in those left toes. If your knee doesn't quite touch the ground, that's fine. Fold a blanket, towel, whatever you've got, and place it under the right knee. That's a good option. So we really want to focus in this pose on where we are up here, being mindful that that knee is really grounding down, the hips are down. And then from there, we'll inhale, lengthen the spine, and maybe start to fold forward as we exhale, really trying to keep the spine long so that we're not hunching, pulling to get to the toes, but really lengthening out long. Knowing that we don't have to touch the toes, but it's a gradual process. But again, just being mindful that everything up here is really rooting down. We'll take two more deep breaths here, maybe releasing the head. And 
slowly lengthening out through the crown of the head, lengthening long in the spine. Bring yourself up to seated. Release that right leg out, give them a little wiggle, and then exchange them. So drawing the left sole of the foot in towards the inside of the right thigh. Again, if the knee doesn't quite touch here, slide a blanket under it. I know I have a kind of a bad knee, so it's nice for me to cushion up. And then flexing actively in that right foot, sit up nice and tall, rolling the heart open, maybe lifting the gaze as we inhale. And exhale, fold forward. Again, focusing really on rooting down in the sits bones, in the knee, in the left foot, rather than grabbing our right toes no matter the cost. With every inhalation, we grow a little longer, a little taller. And with each exhalation, maybe fold a little bit deeper. We'll take two more deep breaths here. And then lengthening out through the crown of the head, rolling through the heart. Come back up to sit, sending the feet out in front of us, maybe wiggling out the legs. And we'll come into one final hip opener here. So here, we'll bring the soles of the feet together. Now you have two options. If you're very open in the hips, you can walk the feet in towards each other, closer to your hips. If your hips are a little tighter, if you've got some knee issues, go ahead and bring the soles of the feet much further, the heels much further away from the hips. They can be, you know, a foot and a half out. That's completely fine. Holding onto the ankles or placing the palms in between the hips and the sits bones. Inhale, lift the heart. And exhale again. Try to fold with a flat spine. So again, it's not about the toes touching the nose. It's about really lengthening through that spine, feeling that nice stretch in the hips. And we'll take two deep breaths here. Maybe fold a little deeper. Or maybe you rock it out up here, and that's fine. Find your edge and play with it. And then exhale, come back to a comfortable seat. Maybe wiggling out the legs if you'd like. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today. And opening your hips up. Uh, I hope you continue to return to this video and practice more on your own. Remember, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up, share us with your friends, and hope to see you back again. Thank you. Namaste.